It's easier than ever to look around on social media and see everybody living their best life. You open up your Instagram or your Facebook and there's a reminder of everything you're not. The awesome mom that seems like she has unlimited energy, the couple who just bought their dream house, or your friend who just ran their third marathon. You name it, it's there. Then there's you. And we all know how fake social media can be, but despite that, I can't be the only one who lets the thoughts of I'm not good enough still creep in. Steve Jobs once said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. I have to remind myself of that often, and you should too. Remind yourself that the measure of success that matters most is the one that you set, not social media, not your parents, not even your significant other. For a second, just think of you. What's important to you? We spend so much time trying to figure out what the world wants us to be, we forget what we want us to be. We do things trying to earn external validation, not realizing that the thing that we thought we earned can be taken away just as easy as it's given. But here's the thing. When you do something for you, and only you, that's something that nobody can take away. Ooh, it's such a freeing feeling. It's interesting how many people want other people to love them, but they don't love themselves. And hey, it's quite possible that where you are now is not where you want to be. And that's okay. I think the real challenge is accepting yourself for who you are right now, right here, regardless of where you're at. And anybody who knows me knows I'm a big fan of self-improvement. But in the same breath, I'll say this. If you don't take a moment to celebrate what you've done so far, you're doing it all wrong. Where you want to go will always be a moving target, but how far you've come, that's yours to celebrate. Maybe you struggle with depression and today it was just hard to get out of bed. Celebrate that. Or maybe you just finished your first semester towards a degree that everybody thinks is a waste of time. Who cares? Celebrate that. It took me a long time to accept the fact that my greatest accomplishments could be completely irrelevant or even meaningless to everybody else around me, sometimes even the people closest to me. But hey, it doesn't make what I've done any less important. As Lisa Nichols once said, when it comes to following your dreams, you may be the only person parading in your parade for a long time, but still parade still celebrate. So I may not have the dream house with the picket fence and a perfect life. There may not be anybody I know who wants to be like me, but I want to be me. And that's all that matters.